Thomas Mann's Reflections of a Nonpolitical Man, originally published in 1918, is a profound and complex examination of the intellectual and moral dilemmas facing Germany during World War I. The work delves into the role of the artist in society, the nature of German identity, and the conflict between culture and politics. Man's reflections are framed through the lens of a self-proclaimed non-political man, which adds a layer of irony and introspection to his critique. The book is structured as a series of essays in which man, adopting the voice of an intellectual detached from the political fray, explores the tensions between art and politics. He contrasts the German concept of Kultur, which he views as a deep, intrinsic cultural and spiritual identity, with the Western notion of civilization, characterized by external, materialistic, and rational progress. Mann argues that Kultur is inherently apolitical and superior, emphasizing a spiritual and artistic depth that he believes is absent in Western civilization. Mann's reflections are steeped in the context of World War I, a period of intense nationalism and ideological struggle. He grapples with his own contradictory feelings about the war, expressing both a disdain for the violence and a sense of cultural pride. This ambivalence is central to his exploration of what it means to be a non-political man in a time when politics seem to permeate every aspect of life. He critiques the tendency of intellectuals to engage in political activism, arguing that their true role should be to cultivate and preserve cultural and spiritual values. Throughout the book, man exhibits a complex relationship with the ideas of conservatism and liberalism. He critiques the liberal emphasis on individualism and rationalism, which he sees as antithetical to the organic, collective nature of German Kultur. However, his conservative leanings are not without their own contradictions. While he upholds the value of tradition and authority, he also recognizes the dangers of blind nationalism and militarism. This tension reflects man's broader struggle to reconcile his intellectual ideals with the realities of the world around him. One of the most striking aspects of Reflections of a Nonpolitical Man is man's self-awareness and his willingness to question his own position. He acknowledges the paradox of being a writer who claims to be above politics while engaging deeply with political issues. This introspective quality adds depth to his critique, as he recognizes that the very act of writing about culture and civilization is itself a political act. Man's prose is rich and layered, often employing irony and subtlety to convey his points. His style reflects his belief in the power of art to transcend the mundane and the political, even as he grapples with the inescapable influence of politics on every aspect of life. The book's intellectual rigor and literary quality make it a significant work not only for its historical context but also for its enduring insights into the role of the artist and intellectual in society. Reflections of a Nonpolitical Man ultimately serves as a meditation on the responsibilities and limitations of the artist in times of crisis. Man's exploration of the tension between culture and civilization, his critique of political engagement by intellectuals, and his own introspective examination of his beliefs create a complex and thought-provoking narrative. The work is a testament to man's literary genius and his deep engagement with the cultural and political issues of his time. It challenges readers to consider the ways in which art and politics intersect and the ways in which intellectuals can navigate these turbulent waters while maintaining their integrity and commitment to deeper cultural values.